Hey, how are you today? We're going to do two paints reviews today, and they're both from the same company. It's both the HG TV line uh, combined with Sherwin Williams. So it's the HG SW colors, and one is called Lenox Hill Tan, and the other one is called Mortar, Mortar and Pestle. And we're gonna review those. Um, I chose some other colors, but they didn't have, you know, everything's kind of on back order. They didn't have uh, the samples to mix in stock. So um, so he mixed something up. I said, we'll just mix something up that's along those lines. So let's uh, do a review. They actually look very similar. So uh, they're both satin. So I'm gonna paint them over top of the Bear Wild Truffle and the Urbane Bronze. So Lenox Hill Tan, Mortar and Pestle, and the, um, the Mortar and Pestle is 3224 Sherwin-Williams, HG Sherwin-Williams, and the HG Sher Sherwin-Williams Lenox Hill Tan is 3174. And we're going to look at these and just talk about them as a, as mid-tone shades. And then we're going to add some other things that I want to talk about as well. So here we go. Okay. This one is the, they're both very similar. Lenox Hill Tan. These both cover very nicely on this board. Let's, let's leave a little line in between so we can kind of tell which is which. I think we can tell this is a lot more tan. So let's not mess the table up and we will get a nice, this is really nice coverage, this Sherwin-Williams uh, satin is really nice covering up the bear. So I'm impressed by that so far with just the sample paint. With um, And all they had was satin, so that's why I chose that. I'm more of a flat person. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. They're almost both neutral. I really like this Lenox Hill Tan. What a great mid-tone shade in the Sherwin-Williams line. Wow, impressive. Okay, so let's see. You know, I, I'm, let's show them to you guys. Or maybe we should wait till it dries a little bit more. Let's hold it up. I think we can do it. Okay, and this one uh, right here is the tan. Is the Lenox Hill Tan. And this one right here is Mortar and Pestle. And I think they're re both really nice shades. You know, especially the tan. Like if you need it, if you had an all white room and you just wanted to do one wall with the little uh, accent wall that wasn't too much, I think these are both really, really nice. And the coverage was fantastic. Okay, so I think those are nice choices. And they could go in almost any decor. I'm going to turn this off for just a second. Okay, let's see how we feel about them. Okay, I feel like the... I'm happy to write what these are because you know what? This one is the tan, of course. And, of course, this one is the tan. I feel like the mortar... Mortar... I know I'm going to mess that one up. The mortar and pestle is um, almost like the evergreen fog. Uh, is almost like the evergreen fog, Sherwin Williams. Very similar. And I feel like the tan is just such a great khaki neutral that it just is so preppy and just could go in any, like you could really fit it in almost anywhere if you just, we're just kind of tired of white. But I think that this shade, uh, the Lenox Hill Tan, would be a color you wouldn't um, tire of very quickly. And this actually, this mortar, mortar and pestle probably has a little bit more blue than 
in the evergreen fog but it is um it looks like it'd be a great shade for a front door or a cabinet in your bathroom just for something a little teeny bit different you know very low country very uh timeless both very timeless and i really like both of them i think they're great and uh they weren't the the uh, first choice for me i had two pottery barn sherwin williams colors picked out but when i went to lowe's you know right now with the supply problem uh they only had he said oh i only have mid-tone samples to mix and i said okay well, just give me what you can. So this is what I ended up with, and I'm really pretty happy with it. And I think, I think I would definitely use both of these. I think I could definitely use both of these colors. This is such a nice neutral green. If, and this is such a nice khaki color. I'm just really impressed with both of them. So uh, I can't remember what the original color was that I chose. But anyway, now I want to talk a little bit about some other colors. This is their, this is the Sherwin-Williams HGTV Home brochure. Really, really beautiful. And it just has a lot of great shades to, uh, you know, and they're all sort of that uh, Park Ranger, Eddie Bauer, uh, timeless kind of shades, sort of like military flat, you know, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Really love them. So anyway, this is a great little uh, brochure to pick up at your Lowe's store. And it has the HGTV Home and Sherwin-Williams uh, brochure. Now, a color I've never reviewed, and I'm, I was just picking this up, is the Valspar at Lowe's. I know my thing is a little crooked today. And so, um, I hope I have my microphone on. Yeah, I do. Of course. So, anyway, is the, whoops, is the Valspar. And, um, you know, I know that the Venetian plaster was in style a little while ago when the, um, damn it, this thing is like crooked. Easy. Um, the Venetian plaster was oops, was really in style, um, you know, a while ago, like with the Tuscan. Damn it! What is wrong with that thing? I don't know. Oh, I need to get my camera back. I guess. Okay, we'll just do what we can do. Okay, so the Venetian plaster was really in, but look what I found. This uh, gray. There was a guy on YouTube who did um, a wall and he painted it with primer. Then he painted it sort of a mid-tone dark gray and then wiped it off and I loved it. And it kind of reminded me of this a little bit. So I'm feeling like these kind of faux finishes are kind of gonna resurface. And how great is that? And it's still neutral. So we won't get sick of it too fast. And, um, so that's nice, and there's also, oh, here's a white one also. And I know these are kind of Tuscany, you know, like those Tuscan kitchens are out of style, but you know, they're kind of nice to have a little texture in there. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, and I picked these up because they were sort of neutral, but yet had some interest, and which I love, and I was like, whoa, I'd love to do a ceiling like in this, aged brass you know or like this gold leaf right now we're uh, my husband and i were looking at houses in florida and uh i found this one it's like a spanish style house it's so cool but i probably won't end up getting it but it's really nice but anyway um look at these these are great these are all metallics so how fun is that like that would be great somewhere. This would be great, I think. I don't know where, but somewhere. I'm thinking about doing like in this um, Spanish style house is such a has such great architecture and all wood floors. And I know I won't get it, but just it's fun to dream. But uh, it's not very, really that expensive or anything. 
But I was thinking I'd do the dining room in black. And I was thinking about doing the ceiling in this color, but I thought, oh my God, I better stick with white so that it will, uh, if I won't have to redo it right away. But anyway, it gives you something to think about. Uh, these two colors are a yes. I think they're definitely a yes. And I say go to Lowe's and check out the HGTV Home Sherwin-Williams line. Beautiful mid-tone shades. And uh, that's about all I have to say for today. Two timeless colors. Have a great one. Talk to you later.